fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Right? Mm. They don't know you like I know you. They never get to hold you. Girl, they just know to hold you. Your head try to control you. I try to tell them you an angel. So special, girl, you made me grateful. They don't know you like We're the Lucky Family. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do what you see in the bottom of your screen right here. Make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos at all. Because all 2022, we dropping them bangers. You feel me? You feel? You feel us. Um, we back with another reaction video, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Tom McDonald. Apparently, this what? This is where y'all told us to start off at. But I don't. this isn't his first song. This is where they told us to start off at. Okay. So, we jumping down a rabbit hole, you feel me? A rabbit hole. <laughs> That's what, yeah, the rabbit hole, yeah. We done, you know, shout out to the hall community, you know what I'm saying? Hangover again, you know what I'm saying? Hey, anyway, but yeah, we're going to get into his reaction because I really want to see, you know, just where... I'm pretty sure I've heard this song before, like I've seen it, I have. but I haven't listened to it. Yeah. Pretty sure this is the dude who was calling out a bunch of rappers a couple years ago. So we need to listen to a ton of his songs so that I can listen to the <laughs> <laughs> facts. So I, yeah. have, I have a ton on a playlist. I just haven't listened to See, them because you, we can't you, yet. You, you tripping, bro? We, no, like I haven't been able to listen to them because because we, we react to it. Yeah, yeah we gotta react to it. So they want it, we gonna give it to them. You feel me? Damn, that's a lot of songs. Y'all gonna get yeah, a lot I, of. I don't know if it's gonna be every single song. No, it has to be. We gotta go down the rabbit hole with them. I don't know about that. They're gonna, they're gonna watch it, bro. They're gonna bring. That's gonna bring his community to us, bro. They're gonna watch it. So anyway, we about to get into this video, man. Make sure y'all. Do all that, like we said, make sure y'all subscribe and clap post the kitchen bell. Um, cause when we get to 25k, we doing a giveaway. You feel That's me? the first time we've said that. The Lark and Fam, about to go ahead and do this. Let's go. What the f <laughs> The video ain't over, bro. What you doing? Alright, let's go, bro. Dear rappers. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I yeah. just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh my God, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days, it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything Woo! is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even more and you give me even less. What the fuck? You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me to things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's dark and I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers is the marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers is promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. That's right. Rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me. It's drinking every night and me the way to get wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day. And all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. You've been blinded by the cars. You've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent $100 on a ticket to your show. And now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, you taught us how to rap. And you taught us how to dress. And you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Damn. It's so true. Let's miss some of this shit. He's talking. That'd be hard. Mm. That's crazy. So. Speaking some real stuff. 
So that's, that's basically why I don't listen to all of them. All right, talk your shit, Lindsay. What's up? Talk your because shit. It's a, exactly what he said. It's about drugs. It's about bitches. It's about it, alcohol. It's about abusing substances. It's about how sad they were at one point, but then. Mm. So, me as a rapper, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, me as a rapper, I felt what he said 100%, which is why I told you there's certain people I stopped listening to heavy mm -hmm. because. Like, I tell people all the time, the more you listen to it, the more it can taint your spirit. Yeah. And that's what they need to. Like, there's sometimes where I'm in a car and I, I'm, I'm thinking about turning on, you know, a rap song, and then I hear the worship music in the car going, and I'm like, I don't even want to listen to the rap song no more. Yeah. You feel me? Like, so, and it's just like, I mean, I feel like that's a daily battle, which I like how he talks about it because he said something about um how, you know, they just want to, you know, are they running out of alcohol to basically, you know, tell me to, you know, drink? And it's just like, Motherfuckers talk about Hennessy. They be talking about vodka. They be talking about goddamn crown. They be yeah. talking about everything. And it's just like, there's really no benefit to any of that besides the mm -hmm. money. And all they talk about, like, I'm gonna be real, a lot of people may not like this, but I, I don't listen to Juice World heavy for that exact reason. Like you said, all he talked about was how sad he was mm -hmm. or the drugs he would take. And I understand he was bringing awareness to, you know, his mental health being in trouble and other people feeling the same way. But I can't listen to that music and walk outside the house and be like, I'm okay. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it don't make sense. Like, well, he's talking about how sad he is, how he wanted to commit suicide, and then doing drugs. And I'm supposed to be like, But wonder oh. why he was there. Right, exactly. Like, and then, like, it's not real life stuff that happened. Right. That's making him sad. I mean, it's real life stuff, but it's not For like. For him? It's like choices that he made. It's not like, it's not like his family was going through something. I mean, he, they could have been, but like. He didn't talk about that part. He talked about what he, he did was, to he cope was, with it. He was taking drugs, and that caused him to be sad. And this and that, and like he w he wasn't talking about not him specifically, but like rappers in general. No, there's a shit they, ton of rappers. They talk. Yeah. About, they talk about oh, they were depressed or they got played, and then they made, that made them go down this road. It's not like oh, I grew up in poverty because my family, my well, mom, it's part of the my, my mom like struggled. Yeah. So I had to do this and this and this, and that's what made me feel this way. Right. They don't talk about that. They right. just talk about, oh, I did well, this. Well, see, like, okay, so, and that's what I said. There, I talk to Cam about this all the time. You know, Cam's a big Juice World fan, and, like, I love Juice World's music, but I don't listen to, like, songs where he's talking about just being sad all the time. I can't listen to it. But when he's talking about, you know, how, you know, what, like, there's songs that he raps about where it made him feel like that. Like, he talks about what, what was it. And then there's other artists who just talk about doing drugs and drinking and having sex with a bunch of females and they don't ever talk about what made them do that. You feel me? Like uh, Lil Xan was one of them. Lil Xan was somebody like he, he dropped a song and he was like music, drugs, bitches, soul to soul, whatever. And he never talks about, you know, what made him feel like that. You know, yeah. there's a lot of people, they only talk about it in their interviews, but people don't care about your interview. They care about what's in your song. Yeah. And that's why I like Tom McDonald because like y'all said, he puts it into a song. Yeah. And like me, I battled with myself, you know, about, like, I didn't want to be one of those, you know, gang rappers. I didn't want to be one of those drug dealer rappers. I didn't, my music personally, my music, yeah, I talk about money. Because, you know, that's why I, I plan on getting, having a lot of money. But I don't think success is just drawn by how much money you have. Um, but I also talk about cars. Well, no, do I talk about cars? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, cars I want. <laughs> you feel me? That's different. Yeah. They be talking about cars that they... Only right. got like that's big wreck this like all pull up. I ain't gonna lie though, I do be like I pull up in that bands, I might crash the hole. You feel me? Like I might crash the hole. But like they the way they, the way I talk about it is a lot different. My music actually has substance to a point of like if I'm rapping about a girl, I can sit there and rap about a girl and then not just be sexual. Yeah. You feel me? They talk about girls, I'm smashing her, her, her mama, her daddy. From the back, <laughs> in the back of the car. In the back of the car, getting Becky while he driving, you feel me? Like yeah. I said smashing her daddy. Hold up, pause. <laughs> Some Lil Nas X do, so I'm just saying. But like, I don't know, I feel like th this is a really good song. And like I said, I heard some of the song, cause I did, bruh, this was on Facebook years ago really? when he dropped it. And everybody was like, yo, who is this white dude with a bunch of tattoos and you know, think he had black contacts or something like that. But that's what they were talking about. And 
now that I grew up and look on it and reflect on it, like I seen a lot of people go down the path they talking about. My the, my favorite part was when he said everything they talking about is keeping the kids in the hood. Yep. They think that gang shit is fun. Yeah, they do. They think that shooting Especially people shit is fun. Especially in Charleston. Oh my god. Everybody wants to do that. Everybody want to be a gang, bro. I don't see kids I grew up with who went to school with me and was straight A B honor roll student just like me. Turn. They gang banging now. I'm like, I just got my first degree. What are you? What are you doing? You were they, just there they, with me. They grew up in suburban neighborhoods, driving mommy daddy car, and then they can sell and weed and yeah, smoke weed and I don't get it. Like, toast why, sticks what, and, is, what is so cool about that? I'm gonna be real though. I'm gonna be real though. I will admit, as me, somebody who my mom kept me out of that, and I kept myself out of that personally because I was focused on other stuff at the time. So I wasn't really focused on you know jumping into the street. I'm book smart and world smart, so I knew about that. And I knew how to survive around people who did shit like, you feel me? Yeah. So like my best friend, my ex best friend was just like that, you feel me? So me, I look at it as, you know, that's lame. And I get called lame because I don't do all that stuff. But that shit lame to me. Yeah. Like you may have more money because you sell drugs. You may, but all y'all, I know most of y'all been in jail. Let's yeah, be real. Exactly. Y'all been in. At, at the end of the day, which one of us is going to be on top? Right. Because of where you went. Right. Like, like, yeah, you may be able to drive a nice car, but where are you living? Exactly. You know? That's another thing. But like, I'm gonna be driving. I can't stand people that have a nicer car than where they lay their head down. On me. Like you're sleeping on an air mattress, driving a 2022 car. Yeah, that's a problem. For what? Bro. That's for a problem. What? That's a problem. Like your pillow is 20 years old. For what? Your mattress is 12 years old. Let's talk about it. Exactly. Your mama. Your. This is the thing. They always talk about. Oh, I, I do all this so I can take care of my mama. Your mama is still in the hood. Exactly. You didn't rip, yo, yeah, they be listening, like, let's be real, they listen to Young Boy, they listen yeah. to Gunna, Young Doug, and all, I listen to Gunna Heavy, that's like one of my favorite artists, yeah. but even Gunna, he talks about the females aspect of it and the money aspect, Lil Baby is more about the, how he was in the trap and stuff like yeah. that, but they listen to that shit and then they want that to be their reality, so they try to go out and live it, you not making 100k on a show, you don't even do a show, you can't even rap, <laughs> like, this, this is another thing, everybody want to be a rapper, I can rap. I can freestyle. A lot of these motherfuckers right here don't know how to rap, and they soon they, they can. My bad, bro. I'm turning because they think like everybody's trying to rap. Like that's the only way out the hood. I made it out the hood with a degree. I made it out of the hood with a wife and a kid. I made it out of the hood with a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like from school and football, bro. And like we put furniture in our house off of what you're doing. Like, not, bro, I didn't even. Hold on, hold on. I didn't, drugs. I didn't, I didn't even go to school for football. I went to school because of grades. And you got the nerve to tell me kids in the hood are only valued if they're an athlete, a rapper, or they sell drugs. That's a problem. False. You, don't, you don't have to play football. Like you don't have to be the number one player on the team to make it to college. People think, oh, if I don't get a scholarship, I can't go to college. Your Not grades, true. your grades matter more than anything. Football and basketball and all that shit. Just all a that sport. stuff. All the, that money that you you have to pay back to the school. You can push it back. You can't, bro. For listen. years and years and years and years. I plan on being Use a that doctor. degree. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. I plan on getting my doctorate, bro. Dr. Larkin. Do Dr. Larkin. That's, bro, you know how, why I can tell my kids, your daddy is a doctor. Even if I don't do that in the future, I have that under my belt so I can open up a practice anywhere. That's the goal, yep. is to be a doctor. Not to, oh, I gangbang, I went to jail five years, came out, People ran back in the street. People jail is cool now, too. That shit lame. That shit lame. Like you being somebody's bitch up in jail. <laughs> like. But listen, man, we ain't gonna drive this out. Cause we we can talk about this for hours, right? And y'all told us that it was gonna be real conversation. Yep. But um, but we need to go live with them and have them boy talk to us, like just like you know talk. Yeah. That'd be lit. We got. We should do that when we had like fifteen. On me, but like um. Twenty. For real, man. Hey, bring the hog community, the um hog family here, bro. Cause like everybody, I'm talking every. Cause dude has millions of followers, bro. So like, even if we just get like ten thousand of y'all, we gonna have somebody who actually wanna talk. You yeah. feel me? Like a lot of our subscribers now don't wanna talk. That's cool. Just watch our videos. But everybody else who actually wanna, you know, I, that's what I love is connection. Yeah. I like connection, and you know that. I've been on connection. That's why I do YouTube. Talk to us. We gonna talk about yeah. it. I like um, stuff like this that makes me want to talk, not stuff that you know. I just turn up to. And I just feel it. Man. <laughs> yeah, it's like no substance to it. Yeah. And um, nah, that's that's pretty much it though. I ain't gonna drag this out because. Yeah. But um, yeah. Tom McDonald, you did it again. <laughs> did it again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um. Literally. Yeah. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure y'all leave a like. Make sure y'all share. Make sure y'all subscribe to that post notification bell like you just saw, so you don't miss out on any videos at all. Cause when we get to 25k, we will be doing a 
giveaway. You feel me? You feel us? We the Lockin' Fam. We gonna see y'all later. Peace. Sixteen, so we gonna unite. They ain't seen your smile shining like the moonlight. Promise that I got you. I won't ever switch sides. I won't break your heart. So promise you won't.